PNC programming is how to process the uh, the string, especially in uh, comparing and uh, comparing a string. So okay, let's edit this one. Now you you already have uh, three. Uh, you, uh, sorry, uh, you have you have uh, create a code uh, to process the string and put it in the array of string. Now, how to check uh, the the string that you you entered? Uh, you can use this uh, str compare str compare um, function so let's say uh, you want to check whether the second second string is equal to something for example str uh, the second second um, second string is uh, index 1 and then you want to check whether it is equal to M for example so you can use the conditional, conditional statement string compare sorry uh, argument argument for this one require uh, two argument and then you can use if it is equal to zero that means uh, the content of uh, uh, ARGS one equal to the second one second string which is uh, or so the second second parameter eh? so if the first parameter equal to second parameter it will um, the string compare will return zero that means that's why uh, the testing here is equal to zero and then we can we can print out print app something like this equal and then you can say here else Print F not equal. Okay, this is how you use uh, string compare function to compare the content of the uh, to compare string. Uh, you have to use this one. Uh, this uh, string compare st string compare function strcmp. So uh, try run this one. Compile first. And run. So let's say I am here. Okay. So the output is equal because the second sentence, sorry, second word is equal to AM. Um, let's enter another. Uh, let's say I was here. So the output is not equal so that is how you use string compare uh, another aspect that you need to know uh, for this uh, assignment is on how to use system call exec bp system call exec bp this one uh, you can refer to this link on how to use this so basically this uh, system call uh, it, it, it is uh, part of uh, UNISTD uh, uh, library eh? so it require uh, two two input eh? two parameter eh? the command itself and the list of option so for example if you want to 
invoke uh, this system call ls minus l then you have to uh, store it like this because in linux uh, system command eh, can be can be typed in in the on the command prompt for example uh, ls ls means list out all file in the current directory eh. uh, you can provide option for example like this ls minus l means to list out all the file in the current directory with details eh. so over here you have the detail so ls will display the file names only but minus l um, means uh, you want to print out uh, the file with uh, its uh, the detail so over here um, you know that uh, from c file is created uh, on the 4th of april and it belongs to Azali and then the access is rw dash rw dash r dash dash so what it means we will learn that in the next chapter and then you also have uh, the size and the size is 4 at 7 bytes uh, another option is if you can put lh minus ls minus lh so over here uh, the output is very similar except that the size is now uh, printed in a more uh, human readable uh, format eh? so instead of in byte now it is displayed in kilobyte eh? so easier to read eh? um, you can also uh, put it like this eh? So that means you have two options. So you, you can use uh, minus twice, or you can uh, provide the option in a single minus. So that is how you write, uh, sorry, type a command in in Linux. Okay. Um, yes uh, you can refer to this uh, uh, this link eh, on how to use uh, exact vp command so, uh, to invoke a child process or and create a new process and to uh, invoke a wait command in the parent process eh, uh, you can refer to um, to the textbook uh, page 118 figure 3.8 this is how you um, create a child process you can use the fox system command and then you you, uh, you check the return value of the PID so if, if uh, if PID equal to zero, that means uh, you can process the child process. Um, if it is uh, less than zero, then that means uh, error occurred. Uh, greater than zero, that means you you can process. Uh, it is a parent process. So in the parent process, uh, you can invoke the wait command here. That means uh, um, this section. Uh, the, the parent section here will wait for the uh, child process child process is in this section so any command you write here means uh, this command will be uh, executed by the child process so that means if you invoke or wait com wait uh, system call here so this section will not be executed until all st statement that you write in this section is executed so uh, for this uh, for the this uh, uh, assignment um, you have to use this this technique to process uh, the 
um, unix command entered by the user the difference is uh, ex uh, instead of using x CLP, sorry xlp um, for this uh, programming exercise programming exercise here sorry uh, the chapter the chapter 3 exercise this one uh, instead of exact LP it require you to use uh, this one exact VP so you can refer to this uh, this link eh, on how to use exact VP so uh, that's all for um, uh, tutorial 3 eh, on uh, process eh. so how to manipulate process how to create child process how to invoke with command in the parent process um, that is all uh, part of assignment 3 okay that's all um, good luck